In this video, we're going to learn how to flatten nested lists in Python. So our list here is just going to be a two depth nested list. Now, if we wanted to flatten this list, which is essentially make it be one list without this nested structure to it, one way you can do that is with a list comprehension. So we'll show how to do that here. We're going to take our nested list here, say for every sub list in that nested list, so that's getting each one of these in turn. That's what that loop is doing. And for each one of those, for every number in that sublist, so then for each number in here, we're going to return that number. So that's what this list comprehension is doing. It's saying strip off each sublist and then strip off each number within them and return that all as a list. So this will return a flattened version of this two depth nested list here. So we'll run that and see that that is the case. Now you can do the exact same thing as this with a normal for loop without doing a list comprehension that can perhaps be a little bit easier to understand. So th this is the exact same thing essentially, but with a normal for loop that gets you the same result. Now, since in data science, you're often using the NumPy and Pandas packages to work with multi-dimensional data structures, NumPy actually has a function that you can just invoke to flatten a NumPy array. So an alternative way we could have done this is import NumPy first, turn our nested list into a NumPy array, and then use the NumPy flatten method on it. So we'll show how to do that as well. Import NumPy as MP, and then we're just saying mp.array on the nested list, dot flatten and that will use numpy's flattening method to flatten it this will return a numpy array instead of a list but we could just convert that back by wrapping that into a list now you can have lists that are nested even deeper than two and you can flatten those as well using the same constructions but the for loop and list comprehension constructions can get a little bit harder to follow. I'll show an example of how to do it, but the NumPy construction is a lot easier. So here we're gonna create a new nested list called nested three, because it will have three nested depth. So to do the list comprehension method now, we need to dive into two different sub lists. So first we're taking the whole thing, getting into the first sub list, and then we're taking that sub list, getting into the second sub list. And then for each of those, we're extracting the number. So we're basically doing a triple for loop construction here within a list comprehension. That's a bit hard to follow, but when I run this, you'll see that we did manage to take this list and turn it into a flattened version of it. But for something like this, or that's nested even deeper than this, it's probably easier just to use the NumPy flatten method because that will take a nested structure regardless of its shape and depth and pretty much just turn it into the flattened version. So that's just a bit easier. We could just call NumPy array flatten again on this. And even though it's a nested depth three, it will still work just like it did before. Now there's one other situation you might run into with nested lists, and that is a list where the nesting isn't equal across all of the different elements. So this first element isn't in a nested list at all. It's in only within the first braces. So this is just a part of the surface level list. But then we do have a nested list here, and then the third element is a double nested list so we have some different elements in this list that have different levels of nesting. And this isn't something that's so easy to do using the constructions we showed before. And with the NumPy construction, it won't know how to turn this into a NumPy array because it has different levels like this. So to deal with a unequal nested structure like this, it might be easiest just to use a custom function. So to do that, I've written this custom function here that should take care of most cases for you flatten list. It's essentially a recursive function call that's going to check whether the item is a list or not. If it is, it's going to recursively call itself and basically drill down until it finds something that isn't a nested structure it has to go into more. And then once it finds those items, it will yield them. And if it's, if it's not a list at all on the surface level, it will just yield that as well. So the result of this should be drilling down into whatever nested list structures you have, grabbing all the numbers, and then it's actually yielding them instead of returning them. So this is a generator function, but if we just run it and then wrap it in list, we'll get a list of all the results. So when we run this, we should end up with a flattened list of all these elements here. So after running that, we see that the list has been successfully flattened. 
So if you need to do something like this, you could just take this code that I'll provide in the description below and run this function on it. Now, if you found this video useful, you can drop a like and hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.